When I was a kid, I had a poster of him hanging on my wall. Most skier kids did. Yeah, I might have heard of him once or twice. He's always shredding no matter what train he's on. He changed the sport forever and made an impact on skiing that few have ever matched. But he's not done yet. After all, he's Glenn Blake. I'm constantly, you know, in evolution myself. Not many skiers have been able to transcend time and space like Lake Tahoe legend Glenn Plague. And it's impossible to overstate the influence he's had on the sport of skiing. So iconic. Probably the most famous skier ever. He's been out since the beginning. One of the fathers of our sport. He truly is the ambassador to skiing. Everybody knows who he is. Man, Glenn Plake rocks. There's nothing Plake can't do on skis. Hot dogging, extreme skiing, mountaineering. But the thing that stands out most about Plague, other than his signature mohawk, of course, is his undeniable passion for skiing and desire to share it with everyone. His larger-than-life personality makes him arguably the greatest ambassador the sport has ever seen. Here's Glenn Plake, man. I've been around the world. I'm highly accomplished, blah, blah, blah. And who else better to say, hey, go out and try skiing? The only problem is I was telling people to go take a lesson from a trained professional and I didn't know how to teach. I got to learn how to teach myself. Studying and training with the professional ski instructors of America has earned Plake a level three certification. Now he's continuing his education in British Columbia's Monashi Mountains with seasoned PSIA veterans, Renna Keller and AJ Oliver. Wipe all the doubts from your mind. Seek and legion find. Reach out and touch, way out, reach out. As skiing has changed, more and more people want to ski powder, more and more people want to ski steeps, more and more people want to ski all these different things. They developed a system to break what every skiing maneuver is down to a, a group of skills. You need those skills in everything you do with your skis. One skill that's never going out of style, the kick turn. Good morning, my lieblings. I am your ski instructor for the day, Glenn Robert Flockenstofer. Before we get started, a little base of basics, OK? Before we make the bigger turn, we make the little turn. I've really seen his passion for the sport and how much he cares about the industry and about education and about getting people involved. It's been really cool to share this time with him. You want somebody to learn, of course. I mean, that's why you take a lesson. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Right. But at the same time, you want to have it just to be fun as heck. <laughs> you must turn. Must turn the kick turn. Whee! Stand on your feet. You are a skier. <laughs> no matter what, he's able to connect the dots and tell stories and break the mold of the person next to them and teach them something new. And that's what we need in this industry, being able to be open-minded and excited about learning and teaching and skiing. Turning people onto something they're gonna do the rest of their life. That's what ski instruction is really all about. At the same time, you know, if you're an upper level skier, you might be surprised you might learn something too. <laughs> The best people in the sport never stop learning and never stop growing. And that is the beauty of skiing, is it's a lifelong sport, and it's a project. It's something that we work on day to day. It was a great opportunity to re-explore my own skiing. I think you have to be involved to evolve. That's always been a bit of a motto of mine. Continuing to grow and learn in the ever-progressing sport of skiing is one of the many things that make Glenn Flake such an icon. From what I've learned from Flake over the years, not taking yourself too seriously is probably the best lesson of them all. The last thing you need to do to have the best day of skiing in your life is be good at skiing. <laughs>